Scoot is so fake. It don't even make no sense how fake this little girl is. I'm sitting in the prison line waiting to pick up my child. Yes, my daughter refers to school as prison. When I see her teacher walking towards the truck, I instantly get nervous. But I don't hear any police sirens, and they're not evacuating the school, so maybe shit ain't about to pop off. She taps on my window. I roll it down. Yes, ma'am. She's like, um, are you Paisley's father? I say, hey. Hell no, I just play that on the internet for clout. Her real daddy got locked up for snorting pixie sticks off a stripper's ass in the middle of Dollar General. I don't know what to tell you. She rolls her eyes and laughs. She's like, I just need you to know your daughter is a delight. She has a wonderful spirit. Who? Who? I know you ain't talking about my little four foot miniature psycho. Ain't nothing delightful about her except she delights up hell. Good spirit, she got a demonic spirit. Go in there and piss off then. Go in there and piss off. See if you keep that same energy. I'm about to ship her to Hollywood so she can pick up her Oscar for her acting abilities. Huh? Oh, these are my peaches. I used two cans, two things of frozen, packed peaches. You can go get fresh peaches. I think it's like 16 for the pan that I'm using. You can cut them, split them, boil them. Again, this is on the budget. For my flavors, I use sugar around a bowl twice, sugar and cinnamon around a bowl twice, and anti-mama syrup. So because it made it own little water in syrup, we're going to put it in this pot with some flour, like eyeball flour, because we want to make dumplings, if you want to call it. Because you ever had peach cobbler and had dumplings in it, we're going to make dumplings. So we're going to drain the juice off the peaches and have our own dumplings. So that's why we have to drain our hairs. Gang gang, we are back at it with the peach cobbler. You already seen how I made the dough. I'm about to drain off the juices off the peaches. Show y'all how to make the dumplings version with using the juice and making a peach cobbler. Hey y'all, I'm going to have y'all lean against my coffee pot. But if y'all seen... Let me show you the first part. So yeah, this is my bottom layer. If it look a mess, it look a mess. If it don't, it don't. You can flat it out with your fingers. This is chunks of butter that was under it. You can butter it around the sides. Take much of the flour out if you could. This the top. We gonna do that later. So yes, I need you to layer your peaches. The peaches, you can see peaches. Fat moment. Mm, good. Spoon. Make sure you get all your corners. Don't have it all in the middle. Clear it out. Here comes your dick syrup. Watch that gonna look like oatmeal. Mix it up well. Circle of motion, all get get it everywhere. You know you're doing something right if you gotta remix it while you pouring it. So because again, this is the cheap version of your dumplings. So yes, it should be getting real thick, like you're making like oatmeal grits. Like that's the way I can describe it because it's going right over your peaches. I'm using this pan because I don't feel like making two servings and this should be good. I'm about to take out my dough and show you how I roll this out. It's been sitting for two days so we're going to do some armor. Alright, here's your dough guys. It's a video before this how to make this dough. Um, we should cut it down the middle because you need your top layer and your bottom layer. I feel like my cut was uneven. Um, we're going to roll out the smaller layer for the bottom and the top layer, the biggest layer for the top, if that makes sense. So this is going to go on the bottom, this is going to go on the top, and let's go. I'm going to put flour on this because it's going to be easy to roll out. Oh lord, this is good for the kids y'all. It's flour everywhere. I got OCD. Uh, this is the bottom layer. Butter been rubbed down all over this place. Took most of the flour out but I call myself flipping it over. Okay, we gonna do the top layer 
right now. Then I'm going to show you how to layer the peaches with the little mixture over there. Pray for me. Okay, we're going to have this look at that meat for a minute. We got messy hands. Okay. Gang, gang, this is how it's supposed to look. Y'all like that, that dough ain't covering everything. It's dough. It's supposed to spread out when it gets to the oven. Most likely, supposed to, I think most likely this dough was made for a 9 by 10 pan or 8 by 10 pan. This is big. Personally, this pan is made for a turkey. But if it comes down to it, just double up your ingredients for the dough. The everything for the dough um, link will be down in the um, description. So if it comes down to it, just double up the ingredients for the dough if you have a bigger pan. Um, you can see I'm a hot mess. I might top it off with some more cinnamon and sugar and put it in the oven for 350 and have my timer on for 30. Flip the pan maybe two or three times in the process and go enjoy my rest of my night. So again, comment, share, like. You see a girl over here hot, sweaty, and bothered. And flower fingers, flower on the floor. So yes, we're going to probably put this in the oven. And you know how it be. Pictures, videos, the final results.